Hi guys, today's video is going to be the 2020 recap. It's a bit late, it's already February, but hey, better late than never, right? Um, so Jenny edited this entire video about uh, 2020's projects and everything, so let's look through it. We start January painting Sarawak General Hospital. Okay, this was an interesting project because um, it is one of our charitable projects. I rarely do uh, free stuff, but this one is a real charity one because it is requested by the doctors of the radiology unit. Cancer has a little bit of relation with my family, so doing this mural was quite heartwarming to me. We have a video about it somewhere below. Oh, and Alicia was there with Ginny. Thanks so much for helping out and volunteering. In January, we also painted Sarawak Energy. Uh, this is the hydrogen fuel cell recharge wall for the motorbikes. For this wall, we used epoxy paint. We also did a Stays and Spaces video, which is the Cove 55 video. Cove 55 is a really nice hotel in Kuching. You should totally check it out. It's very chic, uh, it's beautifully decorated, gym facilities and great nice breakfasts and their rooms are all very pretty. In February, we painted Rainy's Kitchen at Petra Jaya. Uh, this is quite fun, it's a doodle style piece. Uh, it's all about local food at Rainy's Kitchen. Kevin Hops is a really fun mural. This one was very warm and dreamy to paint, so I really enjoyed this one. It was for my friend Sabrina. Thank you so much, Sabrina. I'm so glad that the kid started to recognize the characters inside that painting. So March 18th um, was Malaysia's movement control order so because of COVID-19 we all had to stay home for a couple of months. In March um, I was supposed to go to Tokyo uh, and witness the cherry blossoms but because of MCO my flight got cancelled but luckily Singapore Airlines refunded me in full. I unboxed so many things. Today we're going to unbox the Scribbit. Hi I'm Scribbit, let's bring colour to your life. I also unboxed the Insta360 ONE X because of a client who wanted virtual tours. I also unboxed the MacBook Pro 16 inch which is my favourite laptop right now. There's no lags or anything so I think it's super worth it. I also unboxed two microphones which is the Fluffy Video Mic Micro and this Video Mic Go. I also did a lot of YouTube videos over MCO. Um, weekly videos. Got back to weekly videos because well, there's nothing else better to do. Did my plans, organized my life a little bit. Started my artsy daffy shop. Um, after that, I didn't maintain it. Lah. And then also did Daphne Sales and Artsy Daffy's blog a little bit. Through MCO, I also helped out um, Auntie with, a P with PPE. The community was contributing to the lack of PPE at the hospitals, protective um, equipment that was also part of MCO, it's quite crazy. Quite glad that we recorded it so that it's something to look back. In April, because we are so stuck at home and COVID wasn't getting better, I spent a lot of time uh, fixing up Sudefi's website and working on my SEO and Google Ads, even now. And at that time, it was almost every day that there was somebody contacting me. And from that, uh, we had a lot of KL jobs actually. We proposed a couple of big and small KL jobs for hotels and restaurants and marketing companies. But because of travel restrictions, it was really hard to um, to travel and so we missed a lot of KL opportunities. So in June, we got Sumo, my new little cat. He was one year old and three months at the time and he was a little cute fatty boy. I call him Sumo because he had three chins. Okay, and then July happened, it was CMCO, so it was a more relaxed movement control order. So this was Lucky 17 in July, it was a bar, quite a fun one. Um, in July, uh, Jerry went back to Miri. We miss you, Jerry. I unboxed this house, cat tree, and realized that the cat tree is way too small for him. So I broke the cat tree into two parts, and yeah, you can watch the video. <laughs> Today, we have the Royd Me Cordless Vacuum Cleaner. In July, August, when things start to move again, our friends at Chun Yang look for us to design their limited edition Merdeka Cup. Let me show you. Oh, this is another one of our clients. This is Teapot, but anyway. This is the limited edition Malaysia Day Cup. This is the Chunyang Daphne. So this was a collaboration and 
we really appreciate it because we get to draw um, all these Malaysian illustrate all these Malaysian, important Malaysian elements inside this cup and it was distributed all over Malaysia. So this is a really cool project and super grateful for it. In September, MCO was lifted and travel was allowed. So I booked the trip to KL at the time, partially to, for meetings and also because I just needed to be on the plane. The only bad part about traveling during that time is when we came back, we had to go through a swab test and that was quite painful. The weirdest thing was that they took the same cotton stick thing, stuck it in our throat, took it out, stuck the same stick into one, and not just one, into the other nose as well. So imagine if you were having something spicy in your throat, stuck on your cotton bud and get it shoved back up into your nose. It's just, it's just very disgusting and doesn't feel nice at all. And then it came October. October we started to get back to the office and at that time we also hung Artsy Daffy's signboard. We have moved into this office for more than two years and I never had a signboard. So this is the first signboard and I tell you, it was emotional. And it rained that day. And at that time, even though there were less murals, we had more digital marketing work. So hence, that was the birth of Made It Media. Made It grew over August, September, and in October, we incorporated Made It Media as Dream Burk Heart. And um, we have now five people on the team which are super passionate about figuring out your digital marketing needs. So do check out our channels for Made It. In October, we had another Caesar Spaces video. This was the Hock Seng Lee Precinct Lux video. It is a really beautiful show house. In November, we joined this ad work conference. Me and Luni shared an account and we watched a few ads. Um, what my review of ad work conference is, there are some really good videos and there are some videos that are just okay. So, but then there's still a lot of information. In November, we painted another really beautiful mural, another tree actually. So one is a kid's room, which was very colorful. And then another one outside with a portrait is inspired by Frida Kahlo's style, where this, where this, it's a woman in the center with nature all around. We really love that mural. Okay, and then fast forward, it was December. Time passed so fast. Um, I wasn't there during the Christmas tree decorating, but you can watch the video of the team decorating the Christmas tree and Sumo being tortured in between. And then we also had prize present giving, Secret Santa present giving. That was also a fun video. Watch the vlog, links below. December, we also did the Black Beans mural. Black Bean is inside La Promenade Mall and it just opened right before Chinese New Year. And before that, we were painting this. Um, that's pretty simple stuff actually. Still a very nice place. You should totally check it out. That was 2020. So I think how I can conclude from 2020 is like, um, it was a difficult year for most people because of the pandemic, people couldn't go out. A lot of traveling has to pause. The economy was having a tough time. What I think we learned is that where there is, when something stops and when people are lacking something, there's always going to be somewhere else that where you can find opportunities. So I think that's what I learned is that when one door closes, another opens sort of thing. It has been an interesting year. Um, and we're really grateful that we can grow, especially in the digital marketing side. Very blessed for that. Apart from that, yeah, I think also 2020 got us all to be alone enough to do stuff that we probably would not do as much of, such as um, getting back to my websites, blogging a little bit more, vlogging every week, and also I actually worked on my SEO a little bit, on my website's SEO a bit, and because of doing SEO and Google Ads, I still get contacts every week for Artsy Daffy. I feel like as long as you don't stop trying stuff and moving, you know, you, you get by okay. Well, of course, not everyone's that lucky, but you know, we try. Let's just hope 2021 will be a better year. Okay, that's all for now. See you guys next time. Do subscribe if you haven't. Um, check out here for more travel-related stuff and here for more art vlogs. See you in the next video.